Welcome, welcome, welcome to Factory Modded. This is my Nalia Smod playthrough, which I've been grinding out slowly. Um, it's not the most motivated mods to play, but because I've done so much Space XK2, I don't really feel like going back to that yet. Um, but I just like to finish this mod off, and um, I can't even estimate how long it's going to take, because the science gets harder and harder to do, but my productivity doesn't get better, so might be kind of linear. Um, might be worth leaving my game idle for days and not even play it um, because it's kind of just grinding out these science packs. And <clears throat> I think there is tech further down that boosts the productivity, but it's really hard to get to. So it's like you're going to grind to that, and then you can get the. Productivity. I think it's. Um, I shouldn't know what it's called. It'd be like a science bar icon. Uh, this one here, artificial intuition. So this thing here boosts the lab productivity. It only costs a hundred at the first one, but of course I guess like it just goes up slowly. But that there would be the way to go to infinite research. But the thing is, you finish the game before that because you kind of you stop around here. You don't really go down to here. At least I hope you don't. Um. Yeah, it's like all this. I'm not sure if it's arthropod egg. Arthropod harvest. I guess that's when you make too many arthropods, you recycle them. But you're only supposed to do this part here, arthropod 2, make the eggs and guns. And then you plant the biters. Um. Extermination as well, which is uh, is <clears throat> the biters start growing, carrots and stuff. But uh, yeah, so I'd like to figure out how to go faster on this. Besides just cloning my base at multiple times, I mean, I could just copy my whole base right now and dump another copy somewhere and landfill it, and that would literally just double double it. But I really don't feel like doing that. It seems a bit sad to have to do that. I don't really want to. I'm gonna paste it because the resources itself, um, I can make resource patches exactly the same locations with satellites. If I clone this base, put it here, there's no mining patches. I can make a mining patch. I've already topped up my existing mining patches that way. But when they run low, I just plonk another asteroid down. And uh, they stay as though they never were, you know, lowered. Well, this one here made heaps of uh, sandstone. Grease the patch. Now I did have a nuclear reactor here. Now I'm not sure what I was doing with it, but it looks like I've got uh oh, the chest is filled up. I was gonna fuel but a lot of steam in those tanks. Potentially this thing just doesn't actually have enough turbines to burn it. I could clone this a few times. Maybe I'm supposed to do that. I don't know. Let me do the same um, aside with this with the power poles. Very flow rate problem though. I don't think the um, pipes here would be uh, fast enough for the steam. I suspect they would not blow properly. But I mean, even that, it's kind of lazy. But um, it should do something. It should, uh, you know, make some more steam. Because um, when they're not burning, these will fill up steam. What I can do is uh, have this final tank. Uh, waiting like, end of each one of these. Yeah, could them on the other end as well. I don't know whether that's worth it, but um, hmm. I'm sorry, even struggle to get the uh, blue pipes. But my power is, you know, kind of it's okay most of the time. Um, the wind turbine is. 
Hang on. You can see the priority table and kicks up right away. So it's going almost all the day all day long. I don't know why the wind was so consistently down. Tracer doesn't need it. Yeah, that's no, fine. We do have better wind turbines. Um, heat pipe three and logi bot two. That's that's, that's different. Bridge. Oh, that's different. Uh, I'm not copy all the slots. I think I missed those. Yeah, we did. We missed uh, these two. Probably this last time to get another satellite launcher. Uh, I think it actually the speed now is actually the number of launchers, not um, uh, inputs. These are pretty good at launching. Oh, animation delay as well. On holding up. Now the Astro Minor does seem to be a bit of a shortage. Can't tell whether that's because the chests here have filled up. No, definitely not. So I might go do that Astro Minor buff that. Not that I need that very fast. But it's probably worth doing anyway. So, Astro Model 1. Alright, let's go down there. What's this thing here? Just excavation drone, it's taking. Did that change the recipe on me? No, I just don't have any. Go to the green box and have a look. Now I was playing playing um, Project Zomboid. I do have my dedicated server and I haven't, um, I haven't been running it. I was hoping to play my mate, but it's not been available. Oh, missile boxes. Oh dear. Okay. All sorts of Where's that green one? Up here, eh? I don't see it. There it is. Ah, uh, yeah, it's the fusion cells. So, I've got to stop using that power. We're going to make more fusion cells. Um, because it's competing on my rocket launchers. I had too much of it, but, um, let's do terium. This is getting burnt off now, so we can collect it all day long. The tritium that we don't have much of. Got low and heavy water. Might need a, um, a faster wastewater processor. I mean, this one's pretty good. Um, but still, I'm not sure it's good good enough. Oh, we're actually on Logibots. The network is full. We need to uh, make more bots then. I'm going to make them all the time anyway. I read the patch notes for this uh, mod and they've actually doubled the logic cost, uh, power cost, the logic network. Which I find a bit weird. Like, why would they make it? Twice as slow to do, um, because then you're going to get all the power base like twice as big. What the logic network? This whole mod is that logic network. There's no, you're not doing trains everywhere. That that'd be horrible. I mean, you always place this lots of barrels. Is what I'm doing. I guess when it 
solves the logic network, we're all right. But yeah, I need a um. That number's not really going up very fast. Logic bots. So I can turn off this uh nuclear reactor. Bit a bit sad, but. Um, I really should only insert of the, yeah, I'll do, um, do some logic here. Um, logic network of, um, fusion cell is greater than. The same for all of them. Reach, can't reach. Yeah. There we go. And now we have the same logic. This is quite a high temp, 1400. Much higher than normal reactors. Now I do have these uh, thermal tanks, which is a good thing. I mean, these should go for a lot longer than normal. Yeah, these will pick up five, and then now, now the spent fusion cells. What do I do with them? I don't know whether I recycle them. Um, I can turn it back into helium. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's the only re re that's the only one. Is there like a better nuclear reactor one? One. So oh, that's how you get the uh, uranium ore. Yellow cake. Uranium. And using uranium and tritium to make your tritium. And then you turn that into Vision cells, four gigajoules of power versus these have got two. So the the they're actually better, twice as good. You got spent breeder, and then you got breeder, and then you got spent fusion fusion. Breeder's like uh. I think it's tritium back, don't you? I'm not sure the point of that one. I made the breeder cells better than this one. The seven deuterium or tritium to make two gigajoules. Now it still needs the fusion cell. Why would you do a breeder cell for? Ones your productivity gains. This nuclear power too. Reliable power generation uses atomic reactors, but how is it reliable? Like. The breeder cell, I think it's spent breeder. I'm missing something on this. Um, I tried the nanofab. Nanofab. Or 
burritos, though. Why would you make that? Or the other one? Chemical plant. Prod mods on? I assume so. More productivity. Um, it still needs a fusion cell though. Only if it goes, you get more of them. Oh, we're now storage space. Okay. It's the biggest area in my base. Robots. It's kind of in here, isn't it? Not there. How was that place in these down so quickly? It wasn't even there. What am I missing? Like, I really can't understand. See, when you recycle it, you get 16 tritium from three. A way to get more before tritium goes into it to get 12 out to you. Is that what it's for? Maybe. All right, but then you each one needs four. Yeah. Three of them is twelve. I think you do make tritium out of that process. That's weird. Um, so the breeder cell. Hmm, uh, I don't need that. We no logic conditions, just the one up before. Just... Oh, I think we're just going all the time, weren't we? We didn't even do a, um, a logic check. I think we're gonna make tritium, it's probably a good idea though, just to go as much as possible. What the request? The rest of this stuff's kind of easy. The fusion cell logic. I think it's three empties. So... Pipes. Do that. 
doesn't Q on the aim tile like moves it. The bottom one, I can't tell, that looked the same to me. Is that, is that two deuterium inputs? Is that why? Okay, so don't actually need this. Extra one. Deuterium. Um, this is Christian. Some. Helium. Not that either. Wow. Okay, so we got some massive shortages going on. My point of this though is to just get a lot of breeder cells. Just to get the tritium, and then we can feed it back um, to make more fusion. They both cream tritium. I'm gonna reprocess it too though. Who's the reprocessing? Three one. I think some water, but um, right there. Request. That's a helium, isn't it? Um. Oh, no, it's not full, it's, it's not empty, it's full. Tritium can go back into this thing, I think. I can't tell the difference between the two. The yellow one and the white one. I can't. Tritium's yellow. A lot of yellow there, I can't really see very well. Um, let's just go into there. I 
first do I need? Doesn't need to canister. Okay, so it's good enough to start it. Um, it still needs a deuterium. It's coming from this side. Yeah. Okay, that little fudge pudge should uh, make me some, some breeder cells. Once I get the deuterium, okay, he's deuterium. I really thought that was already on the um, output. That's where I went wrong. There's all the deuterium here. Okay. Just go fill. That would be nice. Why is it not going? Empty barrels are. Oh. There you go, I got some room. Yeah, so I don't realize that the loop here is the same as the bio loop. It feeds itself back. So I should be able to get um, basically as much tritium as I've been bothered making now. And I'll stop eating up all those fusion cells. It does seem to be happy. We get these breeder cells, and then um, when we spend the spent breeder. We, now we, we it says we get two lithium from that. I don't know whether these require lithium in the first place. And I do. It actually solves my lithium problem as well. I didn't realize that, so the wastewater we might be problematic on, but I think we're okay. Why is there no robots out here? Breeder. My first breeders. This needs to pretty him coming around circles. Oh, I got sweet breeder already. Have we uh, already put into the reactor? Oh, we have. Okay, that's great. I'm just going to do this a few more times. Speed it up then. A little bit of uh, cream came back. That's good. So I can make four tritium per cycle, and that's enough for the free. Cell. 
Then you get one fusion per four breeders. We have some speed modules. Speed module twos. Where's my fours? Okay. Got none. I oh, look at the num number of fusion cells we got here. That's good. And the goal is to ex expend as much fusion cells as possible. It means I can probably get uh, these heat tanks all over the place. Make a massive power plant from the nuclear. Yeah, so the fuel value is four times worse. That's fine. Also generating... Um, I need two lithium to make the breeder cell. I need two lithium back. Okay, so this goes around circles, but you get productivity though. So you do get free lithium in the loop. I could add a uh, buffer chest here for lithium. Help it out a little bit. You just limited on the actual uh, flow rate of these spent breeder cells, really. The fusion cell seems quite fine now. These, these are the fastest, I don't think they are. Oh, look, the robot network is not jammed up now. I probably could just give it more random resources, too. This is pumping out fusion cells.
We've got a little bit of alarm fusion cells. Um, this thing's kind of just humming along. And this thing should easily get the uh, vent because it's quite close by. Might have to make a whole bunch of reactors that do nothing. So I technically want it for actually want it for power. Um, and do this decent reactor. It's kind of okay. I don't know whether it's actually helping. It says these standard turbines kicked up here, which is a decent amount. I've already been expanding my solar. In step four, wind. The amount of that's that's good. It's getting buffered up on the um, on the canister. Let's do a short stream actually. Now we'll do the projects on board after all. I think this is a good thing to solve. I didn't really realize. I thought the breeder cells was worse, so I didn't do it. But that doesn't make any sense now I think about it. Later on technology. Now this is like this tritium is just humming along. This loop should get more and more tritium over time. In the in the bottleneck's actually not uh breeder cell. Because this will be going all the time. There's nearly be a problem with speed to this thing. Or the speed of the reactors getting rid of the um resources. Now I could do more and more mining productivity, which is a waste of time. Um the main thing I was after was actually getting zoology. I actually use these robot things to help out my robots because doing the final goal is pointless. It's not going to help me. Whereas, like, solar panel 3 might be quite tricky to get, but would help out things. And I suspect I should get the robots. 10% speed is, is decent. And this one. I don't know, maybe better robots. Uh, what's the construction one do? It's construction robot four. Anyway, that was a nice quick stream. Um, we got this going. Nice little loop, turning fusion cells into, into breeder cells.